Hi folks, hope you're all doing well. Today I'm doing another Trust Me I Know What I'm Doing video. This time I'm going to show you how I edit my Insta360 X4 footage directly in DaVinci Resolve. To do this you need to install a free plugin to DaVinci called Carta VR Reframe 360. I won't show you how to install the plugin on this video as I've already installed it but I will leave a link in the description on where to get it and the link of how to install it. But trust me, it's really simple. So, let's go. As you can see, this time you're going to have to put it up in my face as well. So. so, first thing you need to do is, when you get your camera home, you'll still have to export the file in the Insta360 Studio. On your camera, it will be saved as an LRV file, which means you'll have to convert it to an MP4 anyway. Now, I don't have any LRV files handy at the moment because they've all been converted, but I will open when it's already been converted. As you can see, it's a 360 video. And instead of making all your adjustments and positions and transitions, within Insta360 Studio, all you have to do is load it up here, click on export, instead of export reframe video, just click on export 360 video, put in your path where you want to save a file, any parameters, um, only thing I really change here is I change the encoding format to H.265 because I do all my videos in H.265. It's a more modern codec and it gives you better quality with a smaller file size. Once you've selected all that, you simply start export. You want to check the progress of that, you can click on the task center and see how far you've got to go. I won't do that here. Once it's exported, that's it, we move on to DaVinci. Alright folks, that's us now in DaVinci. As usual, you would go to the Media tab. You would locate where you exported the 360 video to. In my case, it's in Video Capture and it was the third file along that we were going to use. So we drag that into the Media Pool. We then move to the Edit tab and we drag the file down onto the timeline. Now, one thing you'll have to do, you'll have to make sure of is that the project settings are correct for this. If you're only using a 360 video and there's no other second camera or anything, you would simply go to File, Project Settings, Image Scaling and change it to stretch frame to all corners. It wouldn't actually be on that to start with. If you don't change it to that, you'll find that there's a black hole in the center of the video. So you must change it to that. However, if you're going to have a chin camera or the likes, you're going to have two different types of video. What I would do there is, on the 360 clip, highlight it, go to retime and scaling, and at scaling, change that to fill or stretch, and that will take the black hole away. Plus, it will keep the, the, the right resolution for the other cameras. So now that we're happy with that, just highlight that video again. You go to Toolbars, Effects, Carta VR, and simply drag that over to the timeline. And this will pop up now. There's various settings here. This now allows me to change the 360 video, same as you can on the Insta360 Studio. So what we'll do here is, we will take away me faffing about there. And we can let's split it there as well. Take this away, just for the demonstration. What we have is, if you're... 
if, if the only thing you want is to view yourself like a lot of people do, once you reposition that at the start, it will stay like that the whole time. It won't move again, simple as that. However, so if you want some movement in it, set it where you want at the start of the clip. Highlight all these. This then puts a, clip, a keyframe in that section of the video. Go to the end of that clip. Make your movements. Let's zoom in in my ugly mug. Then turn it slightly. And again, set all that as keyframes. I go back to the start of the clip and between the distance of that clip it will make those movements obviously the shorter the clip or the shorter the area that you cover it on the faster it goes and that's it it's, that's how simple it is. That's at the clip and at the, the wrong, the, the last place that you wanted it to sit. So that's fine. Um, basically, that is it. That's how easy it is to do the Insta360 footage in DaVinci. hope you found that quite useful if you have any questions any comments please put them down below and don't forget to subscribe see you next time